I'm going to show you a few things that are different on the Pro on the uh, Proline Fusion uh, Preflight versus 21. We have some different panels. So on the lower panel, we have these switches here, right, that control the displays and our control inhibit. So this is important when you're doing the preflight. So if you look at these switches here, right, it says AHAR is reverse normal. So these are momentary switches, right? So if you look at here, right, watch this. So now we have that. If it, so, oh, is that normal? Well, actually, I can click it up, reversionary, click it again. That indicates that we're off of AHARS 1. So it's important to realize that you, that you must check those switches when you power things up. Uh, they're not just in the same position. Same with the ADC. See, it says ADS2, which means air data sensor as opposed to air data computer, but it's these two different names, so it's the same thing. So always make sure you don't have that saying yellow up there. Your PDF uh, one off, that's intuitive, right? Turn it on and off. MFD off, of course that's off and on, so we'll let those time back up. These switches should be in normal. So this, these are inhibit switches down through here. So these inhibit switches are so you can clean the display. So if I inhibit the touch in here, touch one will not work on my screen, right? So if I try that, which that pops up, see touch is inhibit. If I go down it, cursor inhibit means I can't move the cursor on that as well. So these are typically only used if there's problems with the display. Like all of a sudden you see the thing go squirrely everything coming around with moving around then maybe your touch your cursor then you have to put it uh, inhibit but otherwise you want those in normal all right and you have the same thing with your MFD touch frequently it's nice to clean it you can turn that off and then you can take a microfiber cloth and uh, clean this way so I can go up here take a mic microfiber cloth and a proper clean method and, and turn that off of course personal wings we have a display clean you can for you so that comes off same thing over here on the co-pilot side same exact thing. So you have those switches in through there. So it's important to be able to make sure you understand those, how they're set. This has the slave. This is for the AHAR slave magnetometer problems, right? If you need to do that, you slave these guys. So same thing here. If I put the AHARs, this should be, you want to make sure that you don't see, I just went PD off. Oh, that would be obvious, but wouldn't it? So PD2 off. We'll turn that back on, make sure that pops up, comes live with an FMS. FMS is up. So now if we come down here, this was accidentally pressed from a previous flight. See it says AHAR is one. We don't want that showing. Same thing here, so we'll turn that back. It said ADC, which means, again, ADS, one, it means on the alternate source. So you want to make sure that these are not only in the right position, all those other switches, but that you aren't using the alternative sources. And then, of course, on the panel, we also have a dedicated barrel and, and uh, tilt knobs for the radar. So barrels, so those are set. So those are the big differences when you're trying to check. So you really have to power everything up to check. It's not just position of switches again, as we said, especially for the AHARs and the ADC. It's actually also for the, uh, you have to make sure you have the power on to see it, not just position since you're